we're going to have to figure out how we reign in our media environment so that you can't just spew disinformation and misinformation. It's one thing to have differing opinions, but um, it's another thing entirely to just say things that are false. Hmm. You know, I've heard that this works in China, places like they have state media where they rein them in and it works really well there. It sounds like she's awfully upset about fake news, isn't it? Wasn't there a guy that was screaming about fake news for a long time and now she's upset about fake news? The difference is Donald Trump attacked the fake news media. He attacked CNN and the rest of them, but he didn't really do anything. I mean, he verbally attacked them. He didn't do anything. What we know AOC will gladly do is use the power of government to shut down yes. voices that she does not like, whether it's us on YouTube or you guys on cable TV or whatever it is, we know that. And by the way, this is where when they call for unity, what she means is, yes, once we eliminate all the voices we don't like, yes. we will have unity. It's a little Emperor Palpatine-ish of her, You know, the, the, the irony, though, is that if, don't correct me if I'm wrong, I think that was a, an Instagram Live, right? So she wants to be able to go on Instagram Live and say whatever she wants, right? But then she doesn't want anyone else to be able to do it. It's sort of like what she's saying is contrary to what she's actually doing. But you also have to really listen to what she's not exactly saying, because, you know, they'll say that, OK, half the country's Nazis and bigots and white supremacists and all those horrible things. But they also say, you know, if you uh, are pro-life, for example, you hate women. If you're against the Green New Deal, you know, you're, you're, you want to destroy the environment. If you don't think if you don't sign on to her agenda, uh, otherwise the world is going to end in 12 years. Well, then at that point, why would they let you spread those ideas online if she had the power to stop you? If you if she really felt that hating women was part of the pro-life agenda, why wouldn't she get rid of those people? Why would she let you get on a plane or open a bank account or whatever else it might be if you thought uh, if you were going to fight against the end of the world in 12 years or fight for the end of the world in 12 years as she sees it. So these people, this this was the danger of the left all along. They think that if only they had enough power, they could correct all of us. And those of us that are conservative or, or lean right, whatever it might be, we believe the only answer is to take power away from the big structures. And then, yeah, life is a little messy. But I'd rather deal with a little bit of a messy life than some big structure that can just strike any of us down whenever it so chooses, run by people like AOC. Yeah. Well, if it wasn't for the last week, I wouldn't be so concerned about her threats. But I think after watching all of these platforms kind of disavow conservatives, block them and deplatform them, I am a lot more concerned. You should be, Sean. I mean, there's no way to say it other than that. You absolutely should be. There's there's no reason to think that now that these people feel like they're this close to power. And this also was what I was warning about with Biden, because a lot of my more centrist Democrat friends, there's not many of them left, but there's a couple. A lot of them kept saying, oh, don't worry, Biden will stop this thing. He'll stop the radicals. They didn't they didn't bring in the radicals. They didn't go with Bernie or Elizabeth Warren. So he'll stop it. But what we're seeing is that, you know, if I can make an alien reference, it's like he's just the body, he's the host, and the alien, the lefty alien, is going to burst forth in about a week from today. Yeah, mm. uh, well, that's— And it's bursting forth right now, and it's pretty obvious to everybody. No, and, and I saw it yesterday. We covered this, but you had Oliver Darcy from CNN, which is part of the AT&T, i.e. Time Warner, uh, DirecTV network, saying that stations like Newsmax should not be on— but be carried by cable outlets. And that that worries me because this is where it gains steam. And a lot of these guys say, ah, so once you silence us on all these different platforms, then you can have unity, right? Once no one else can talk to us. But yeah, you know why they want to silence you? Because people are watching yes. you. That's why. What they would prefer to have is a bunch of neutered Republicans that have only failed at everything. That's why they love the Lincoln Project guys. They love, you know, David Frum and Bill Kristol, people who are now irrelevant, who got everything wrong in the past, just so that they can get their little hits on MSNBC and be pat on the head and, OK, can I have another cookie? That's what they want. They want Republicans who can't do anything. Look, they love Mitt Romney now because Mitt Romney failed and acts like a good guy in their eyes now. They used to call Mitt Romney a misogynist. They love John McCain now. John McCain's dead now. That's why they love him. And Mitt Romney is in, in effect, not, obviously not going to run for president anytime soon. They love Republicans who just behave exactly like they want and won't fight for any conservative principle. Newsmax is actually trying to fight for some things that are yes. conservative. And, yep. and that's a problem to them.